At one point in her career, Kim Naidu studied and worked in the field of air traffic navigation services, but she came to realize that this wasn't her true calling. It took her a while to find out who she really wanted to be, but she persisted, and Karusha met up with Kim to get the full story of her journey. Capturing inspiration is so much easier if you have a clear mind and an energized body, and yoga is Kim Naidu's preferred way to start the day. It is a beautiful morning in Johannesburg and I'm looking forward to spending the day with Kim Naidu, who is a yogi amongst other things and for this morning session she's asked me to join her. Let's go. Hi Kim. Hi Karusha, thank you for joining me on this morning. I can see you're already into it. I am. Do you want to just take off your shoes and we can get started? Great, let's do that. All you need to do is put your front foot, whichever foot that is, bending through your front knee so it's at a 90 degree angle and then taking our arms out parallel to the body and then just turning the gaze over your left index finger. Look at that balance, it's beautiful. So you're going to just take a big step to the top of the mat, put your left arm at your hip and then just grab the inside of your left ankle, lifting up the right arm, pulling a mudra. There you go, that's perfect. What a beautiful way to start the morning. Thank you for joining me on my mini yoga retreat this morning. So how did you get into yoga? I moved to Cape Town in 2017 to follow a very good job opportunity. And whilst I was there, I was finding that I was lacking a little bit of purpose. I'm a person that needs to always keep my mind busy. And after doing the yoga practice for about two years, I found a studio I fell in love with. I got into myself into there and then got into a teacher training program, which has been phenomenal for creating balance within my life. And that led me to starting a little digital agency. Let's just go freshen up and you can meet me at my office so I can get started on my busy day. Great, let's do it. This girl-powered, digitally-driven agency has found some major corporate clients as well as three top restaurants in Josie. So, Krusha, welcome to the home of Clickbay. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. I just need to pop into the office quickly to check on Fatima and I'll be right back. Sure. Cool, so what do we have that you're working on today? I'm busy with Sebi South. Remember, we had the meeting yesterday. So I just want to work on changes for her website because most of it's done. We're going to have to do something that's very similar sized, but something that will work a lot better with the new consumer base. I'm going to pop over to Bold and just check how things are going on that side and show them our options for the menus. Have a good day, sure. see you later. Sorry about that, Krusha. I had to tend to my to-do list for today. No problem. Kim, I'm so interested to know, how did this all start? My mom's been an entrepreneur for her whole life and I've been following her around to lots of markets and I think I started my first business when I was 10 years old, selling cupcakes to people. I don't even think I was a good baker, but I was always a good salesperson. Wow, cupcakes at 10? Cupcakes at 10 years old. What does it take to move from the corporate into the entrepreneurial space? It's a lot of sacrifice. I think becoming an entrepreneur is something that sounds more glorious than it is, but it's a lot of hard work. Something that I pride myself on is that every single opportunity that I have or everything that I go through is one that I used to fuel a learning experience in my life. Whether it's good or bad, it's something that teaches me and I always use that as a foundation to grow from. Karusha, I have to run. I have this new client that I would love for you to even come join me to see. It's a new restaurant that I've been taking over the marketing managing for and they have incredible tapas. So would you like to join me for some brunch? Sure. Kim started her working career in the air traffic navigation services, acquiring her private pilot's license along the way. She then decided to spread her wings in a different direction and completed a postgraduate business degree at WITS to complement her design and communication qualification. And Kim was ready to fly. Karusha, would you just mind grabbing us a table while I have a quick chat with the manager? Sure. So we're going to be making some changes to the cocktail menu, as you mentioned. Do you know what you're going to be adding into the menu? We're trying to get a variation on different styles of cocktails. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So we decided to change up the design quite a bit. I feel like the fonts and stuff are a bit too screamy. Okay. We're going to work on the design of that, add in a little design element to follow through with our menus, just so we have continuity of brand, and just make sure that when we hit summer, everything is amazing. Perfect stuff. Well, have a great day. I'll speak to you a bit later. Awesome cool. Thank you so much. Krusha, you've chosen such a great spot, right by the pool. Yeah, it's really beautiful out here. 
So Kim, what do you want your entrepreneurial experience to be like? I want every day to be an adventure. So if that happens every day for me where I can learn something, I can make a difference, or just be able to make someone's day, that for me is my entrepreneurial journey done. So what would you say your personal philosophy is? Something that I hold really important to me is authenticity. So if you can be authentic in everything that you do, that's something that will carry on throughout your life. And I know that you employ a lot of females on your staff. Why is that important to you? I'm actually part of a female organization called Future Females in Johannesburg, where we run events for entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs just to grow their soft and hard skills. So that's something I'm also very, very passionate about. Ah, oh, here comes the food. Ladies, here's your food. Thank you so much. This looks amazing. So these are the perks of your job, hey Kim? I know, amazing. I get lunch every day. <laughs> so what is your advice to young females that want to move into the entrepreneurial space? There's three things. It's work hard, play hard, and pray hard. But besides that, just stay authentic to yourself. And don't give up. It gets tough, but just don't give up. Kim, thank you so much for letting me spend some time with you today and get a small glimpse of what your life is like. This looks amazing. Can we tuck in? We sure can. <laughs> so good. So good.